Welcome back for our last session with Ted Thomas, the guy who knows all about tax, uh, tax deeds and uh, tax lien certificates. Um, Ted, I've got a lot of information. I've written a lot of notes and so forth, but um, a couple of questions, just a couple of questions to wrap this up. So you mentioned about having to fix the property up and put some money in it and so forth and that, but that, that brings up the question is, is that if I now have this property, am I responsible for paying like the utilities, the water, the heating, and all of those types of things on the, on the house that I've gotten? Okay. So you said house, there's two businesses here. The people that buy a tax lien certificate, they're not responsible for anything because the people stay in the property. Right. In other words, the people don't get thrown out. So they're just going to stay on their property. They're just going to pay their taxes late. All right, that's all they're going to do. They're going to pay it late. They're going to pay you a penalty. So that's a no-brainer of business. If you're buying a tax defaulted auction, you're buying a house that's empty more than likely. There's nobody in that house. The government has already come and confiscated the property, thrown the people out, and now you've got... Now, if the people are still in there, the government meant to get them out and they didn't, you'll have to evict them and get them out because you will have to pay the utilities and the future taxes and the cleanup and all that stuff. But that's not a problem. You mm -hmm. never have to do any of that work. Anybody that makes a big deal out of that work is trying to sell you something you, that you don't need to buy. You never have to get involved in eviction. That's why they make 700,000 new attorneys every year. You just dial the phone and say, I want to get this guy out. They say, great, I'll file the papers tomorrow, bring you $1,000 in. You have an attorney, you don't do any of that work, none of that. I mean, this is a clean hands business, clean hands. Yeah, so so if I go to the auction, either at the auction physically or if I'm online and that, can I buy um, at the auction with a credit card? <laughs> All right, so this is pretty amazing. Uh, when I started, uh, and even today, there's a lot of special rules about buying, but two states, two states now, do sell just using credit card if you want. Uh, it's, it's probably 10 states. I just haven't kept, kept up on that. So you can buy in New York and you can buy in Michigan. I have one client. Uh, I know this is unbelievable, but he came to work for me as a coach for 10 years. Uh, one client that bought in the state of Michigan, he bought 60, six zero properties using a credit card. He bought each one of them using a credit card. And then because we teach him how to do it, we showed him how to sell with installment sales. So when the installment sale came in, it paid off the credit card. All right. He sold 60 properties that way. Can you imagine having 60 different checks coming in? I mean, I really don't want you to do that. I mean, that's really, yeah. that, that's really work. You need an accountant to keep track of all the money. But he did 60 properties just on a credit card. I have personally bought colonial houses and spent more than 150 grand that I paid the tre treasurer and done it on credit cards. I did it. Also, I could film it and people could watch me doing it because yeah. I didn't believe it. But I bought a colonial in Orange County, New York, and it was worth, um, I thought it was worth 400, but I only sold it for 380 and I paid 150, 160 for it hmm. Hmm. on a credit card. Wow. Wow. The rich get richer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm thinking, I'm, trying to think as a skeptical person here sure which i'm sure that, that we have some on, on here that are skeptical in that but what about homes that are still in debt with the banks it doesn't matter if they're in debt to the bank if the person doesn't pay their taxes the local government will confiscate the property and what most people don't understand is the treasurer is superman mm -hmm. the treasurer has power the treasurer can say wipe out the mortgage, which they do at every auction, the treasurer can say that property was on sale for $100,000. I'm dropping the price to 50 if you'll buy it today. The treasurer has that power. And if you didn't believe that, you could go to a place like Los Angeles. I've been there sitting in the room with a thousand people in the same room. And the treasurer will say, we're finishing the auction today. If you come back tomorrow, any property that had taxes of 20000 or 50000 or whatever it was, it will be half if you'll come back tomorrow and buy it. They just cut the taxes in half. The only the treasurer, it's the only government official that's allowed to do that. They have to get these properties sold. Otherwise, they're going to be deteriorating all over the countryside. 
So they drop the taxes to do that. So the treasurer has power to do that. So for them to knock out the mortgage, anytime there's a, a foreclosure takes place, it wipes out the mortgage. Hmm. Wow. Wow. I didn't make those rules. What, uh, what is, what is the, and I know it's a hard question to answer, but if anybody can answer it, you can. What's the best deals that you've seen people accomplish in this business? Well, this is going to find, uh, you find this pretty amazing. Uh, there's a lot of best deals, but this one's kind of colorful and you'll like it. So uh, while I'm talking, um, uh, we're going to put a, put some slides up here, but I have a client, his name is Bob Schumacher. He ult ultimately he became a coach and uh, Bob is learning online and offline. He's done over a hundred deals and uh, he decided he was looking at a property that was coming up for sale in the state of Georgia. <laughs> And so, excuse me, I had to blow my nose, but um, uh, so he's looking at this property and he looks online and the, 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 the minimum tax on the property is, is like, you know, um, under, uh, under a few thousand dollars. And so he said, well, I think I'll go down there and take a look at that property. And so he heads down there and he takes a look at the property. And uh, this is pretty amazing. And uh, he looks at it and he said, well, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to bid on it. So. Um, he figured he's going to, if he can get the property at a decent price, he'll buy it. So first of all, he wants to figure out what it's worth. So he just looks up on the treasure site, what the property is going to be worth. And so the property is going to be worth somewhere in the neighborhood of about $40,000, but it's a lakefront lot. So that makes sense worth about 40,000. So he goes down there to, to buy this property and there's other bidders that have shown up. All right. Well, the long and the short of the whole thing, and he's going to tell the story better than I do. The long and the short of it is he ended up buying the property for $67, $67. And he ended up selling the property, not for the 40,000, but he sold it for a little less than the $40,000. And his total investment was $67. Now, my whole point is, if you took your family to Denny's, for dinner, you're not gonna get it done for $67. So folks, just watch this video and I'm gonna show you the opposite of that in just a few minutes. It's just amazing. Now, do I think I'm ever gonna get one of those? No, I'm not gonna do that. But he bought a property for $67 and resold it and made thousands of dollars, like $20,000. So listen to Bob. I'd have to say that the best uh, dollar for dollar deal I've ever done on a piece of land it happened in Oklahoma. I went out to an outlying county and I bought a tax lien. The tax lien was on a 25 acre piece of land. The tax lien was only $67.12. Uh, you'd think that nobody would ever abandon a piece of land for that small of a tax bill, but things like that do happen. And guess what? Those people never did pay that tax. They never redeemed that tax lien. And I ended up getting the tax deed to that property. I eventually sold that piece of land for $22,500. It's not uncommon to make ten or twenty thousand dollars off of a deal. How about that? It's amazing. So that's a great video, and it's him doing it, so they like it. Wow! Wow! And and who who can do this? Who can do this? Is there any limit on who can do this? Because I'm thinking I'm thinking of my mom. My mom is seventy six years old. She's not really able to work, but she's got her faculty. She's got some money, and she's able to do stuff. Who can do this? Is this something that older people can do? Yes, definitely older people can do it. Uh, your mom should give you the money so that you can both make money at it and give you a lot of fun to have. But, uh, but uh, uh, this, this particular video I'm going to show you now, and I'll be short because we'll run out of time. Uh, this is a gal we call her Grandma Shannon. And Grandma Shannon uh, lives outside the United States, but she came into the United States and used U.S. money to buy. And she went to the auction in Seattle. And in the morning, it was really busy and people were bidding and there's a lot of activity. Uh, but traditionally at auctions, after lunch, it slows way down and there's only about half as many people in the room. Now remember that because that's a strategy. So half as many people means half as many bidders. That's going to help you. All right. So she shows up in the afternoon and the bidding starts and goes back and forth. Well, long story short, she bought a property which she thought was a residential lot, a single home residential lot, except she and her coach had already looked at the paperwork. The paperwork said 
that this was really a residential four lots, but the auctioneer was selling one, but it all had the same property number. So the auctioneer was selling one and didn't realize that there was four there. So when she bought, she got all four because she bought the tax number. All right. So she bought it for 34000 I won't go through the whole thing with you, but she'll tell a little bit about it. She sold it for $138,000. Wow. She got her money back and over $100,000. And she did that in less than 180 days. I'm Shannon Ulrich. Here we go today. We hadn't heard of Ted Thomas. With selling my first tax deed, I made two times my yearly salary in that six month period. We paid around $34,000, which was 27% of the assessed value, 120. And then six months later, we were able to sell it for $135,000, which was 3.7 times our investment. You know, taking action can be, can be frightening when you're stuck in a rut. I mean, unless you want to be a drone all your life. I have a friend who refers to people as, that go to work nine to five as drones. Yeah. One year after meeting Ted Thomas, I am a happier, wealthier person that I, I feel my alive and um, I feel my potential more than I did a year ago. This program has given me two more years of my life where I didn't have to be going to an office. So it was no biggie to quit my job. Now I get to be a grandma, and every day is a Saturday. There you go. So I don't know what a person is going to make. I can tell you this. This is a business of abundance. It's been around for 200 years. I'm a teacher. I teach people how to do it. I'm a practitioner. I do it. Uh, I'm not, uh, I, I, I have all kinds of different uh, things that people can do with us. But the best thing that they could ever do is spend six hours, less than 100 bucks. If they learned a lot on these videos, they will be astonished in that six hours. Uh, and the six hours, now it's the internet. People watch two minutes and then they quit. I'm going to tell you at the end of the six hours, 90% of the people that started will still be sitting there looking at me. They love it. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, friends, it's decision time. In the last four videos that uh, Ted has, has given us a lot of information, but friends, information does not make you money. Action makes you money. And now is the time to decide if you want to make some money following what Ted will teach you. If you do, if you want to make some comfortable extra money, then click on the link in below in order to register for uh, Ted's class. So it's time to make a decision, friends, and it all comes down to you. Are you going to make money or aren't you? It's just a click away. So Ted, thank you very much, my friend, for all the information that you've given us. Friends, I will see you on that class. So go ahead and click that link. Thank you, everybody.